For this example, we're looking at a binomial probability distribution. So for this problem, we have when seven cards are randomly selected with replacement from a standard deck of 52 cards, we want to find the probability that exactly three of the cards are hearts. We want to use the binomial probability distribution, and we want to also check this using our calculator or technology. So we're going to use the binomial probability distribution formula, and I've gone ahead and written this down here. So that's the probability of x is equal to n factorial divided by n minus x factorial times x factorial in the denominator. And this is multiplication here, times p, the probability of getting what we want, in this case, the probability of getting a heart, uh, raised to the power of x multiplied by Q raised to the power of n minus x. So we can even think of this as putting this in parentheses here. So if we want to use this formula for calculating our probability, we need to go through our problem and pick out some of this information. So we have that seven cards are being selected from our deck. So that our total number of trials here is seven. So go ahead and write that down, that n is equal to seven, and they're being selected with replacement. That means that probability from trial to trial is going to stay the same. The probability of selecting a heart each time, each of the seven trials will remain the same. Um, we wanna find the probability that exactly three of the seven cards that we've selected are hearts. Okay, so this is our x value here. So. That is x is equal to 3. Now, we want to know what is the probability of selecting a heart. Well, we have a standard deck of 52 cards. And the total number of hearts in that standard deck is 13. So we have the probability of selecting A heart is equal to 13 out of 52, or a quarter of that deck are hearts. So we could simplify that to one fourth, or we can even write that as a decimal of 0.25. So we'll label that as our P, our probability of a success in this case. So our P is 0.25. So looking now at our formula, we have our n and our x. What's what we need here in our exponents? So now we just need to find that q. And that's the probability of not selecting a heart. Well, one way we can do that is we can write q as 1 minus p. So that's 1 minus that 0.25. Or we find that q is equal to 0.75. So now we have all of the components needed for our binomial probability distribution formula. So go ahead and enter our information into our formula. So we want to find the probability that x is equal to 3 in this case. And so then that's our n factorial. So our 7 factorial in the numerator over in the denominator. We have 7 minus 3 factorial. And then x is 3 factorial. So that's our fraction here. We're going to multiply that by p, so our p is, recall, 0.25 raised to the power of x, which is 3. And then our q, and our q is 0.75 raised to the power of n minus x, so that would be 7 minus 3. And then we'll go ahead and start simplifying. So if we do that, I'm going to go ahead and simplify here and see what happens. So we have 7 factorial in the numerator. In parentheses, that gives us 4 factorial because 7 minus 3 is 4. So we're left with 4 factorial times 3 factorial. And then this gives us 0.25 to the third power, 0.75 
to the, and I'll simplify here as well, 7 minus 3, which gives us 4. I'm going to go ahead and try and simplify this expression a little bit where possible. So 7 factorial, I'm going to recall as 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Or another way to write that is 7 times 6 times 5 <clears throat> times 4 factorial. And the reason I'm stopping here at 4 factorial is because I have a 4 factorial in the denominator here. So I'll go ahead and write that as 4 factorial. And this 3 factorial that's in the denominator, I'll write it as 3 times 2 times 1. So I'll notice that the 4 factorial in the numerator and the denominator divide out, and that will give us 1 there. And then the denominator we have 3 times 2. I know 3 times 2 is 6. So this 3 times 2 divides out with this 6 in the numerator. And so what we are left with in the numerator is the 7 times the 5, and in the denominator we have just 1. So if I continue doing my arithmetic here, this gives us 35, and then I'll plug in 0.25 raised to the third power into the calculator, and in doing so I'll get 0 0.015625. And then also plugging this into the calculator, 0.75 raised to the fourth power, and in doing so I'll get approximately 0.316, and that decimal number is going to go on a little bit more, um, so it's roughly 0.316. But I won't do my rounding until the very, very end of my calculation. I'll go ahead and keep that entire number in the calculator. I'll multiply those three numbers together, and if I do so, then this is approximately equal to 0 0.17303, and that's going to go on for a while as well. When we're calculating our probabilities, we want to take this out to three significant figures. So this would be the first significant figure, the seven would be the second significant figure, the three would be the third significant figure. So this is approximately 0.173. So the probability of x being three out of seven cards being selected from a standard uh, deck of 52 gar cards is approximately 0.173, or I can write this as 17.3%. You can also do this problem using your calculator. In your calculator, you would select the function from second distribution, and you would select the option binomial PDF, and in doing so, you would enter in your calculator binomial PDF, and you would make the entries for n comma p comma x. And we've listed our n, our p, and our x here. We do have accompanying videos to go along with the binomial probability distribution formula if you need some help with technology.